Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel where we review news about Manchester United Football Club. So guys, today we are going to be talking about the takeover of Man United as Radcliffe and Sheikh Jassim anxiously wait for green light from Glazers. Man United recorded their second successive victory by easing past Everton at Old Trafford, but there has been no fresh update on the ongoing takeover saga. Another week, another game for Manchester United as they prepare to face Sevilla in the Europa League quarterfinal first leg on Thursday evening. It comes a matter of days after any 2 0 win over Everton as Eritrean side enter the business end of the season and United are beginning to motto on the grass. However, off the pitch, there is still some of certainty surrounding the club takeover by that, including Sir Jim Radcliffe and Sheikh Jason Bin Ahmed Atani are waiting to hear whether or not their revised offer meets the Glazers' requirements, while others are still interested. The Glazers, meanwhile, may not want to sell up and are debating whether to keep hold of the club. And the longer the process drags on, the more fans are fearful that the club's current owner will decide to stay in power. Ten Hag slams Premier League for the injury to Marcus Rashford. The Dutchman pointed to inside hectic fixture schedule as the reason why the attacker had to limp off against Everton. We have to wait on Rashford injury. It doesn't look good. Once again, it's due to the schedule. You can't play three games in six days. We have to protect our players. The United boss told BT Sport. My United get huge hurricane transfer boost as part gets clearer for Tottenham staff. Total will still demand in excess 100 million euro for their record goal scorer if Kane indicate that he has no interest in signing a new deal. Manchester United hope of landing Harry Kane have been boosted by Bayern Munich reluctance to get involved in a biding war for the England captain. Kane is the number one summer target for both United and Bayern as he moves towards the final year of his Tottenham contract. And why sports chairman Daniel Levy? would hate to send his star striker to another Premier League club after keeping King out of the clutch of Manchester City two years ago. United willingness to come up with the most cash is likely to be the deciding factor. Tottenham will still demand in excess of 100 million euros for their record goal scorer if King indicate that he has no interest in signing a new D. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like and share this video.